JKB back with another episode. Today on the show, I am doing my impressions of the Call of Duty Black Ops 4 beta. This is my Xbox One X gameplay video in the background, so enjoy that. As they say, history repeats itself, and with Black Ops 4, you'll have the feeling of been there, done that. But does that take away from the overall enjoyment of the gameplay? No. So, why would you come back to another Call of Duty game? Well, that's a simple answer. Because it's a blast to play. The level design is back to its basic design. It's not about this overly complicated, you know, verticality that a lot of these past games had. You can't run across the walls or jump over small buildings, so don't worry about that. It's back to the run and gun that we know and love in Call of Duty. I felt that each of the maps I experienced had a different design to them, and you'll see different stronghold sections on each of the maps where players will battle it out to hold a territory, and you'll see the usual sniper spots, you'll see the usual spots where people are going to try to camp. All the good stuff is kind of back here in this, and I feel that the level design is really well thought out this time around, and I'm kind of really excited to see what we didn't see in this beta. The multiplayer features the return of the specialists. These are soldiers with special abilities and traits. You'll have 10 to pick from in the full game. In this, we had six. I had an absolute blast trying to figure out who I wanted to play as. It was kind of a tough decision because you've got like Ajax who has a ballistic shield that you can use to block, you know, doorways or block fire from the enemy and then get your people through a section of the map. That was that was awesome to use. It, it, there's a strategy to that. But then there was also Battery, who's this kick-ass female character. Kind of reminds me of, like, Sarah Connor, except with, like, a mohawk. She has a weapon called the War Machine that basically rain downs grenades from above, and she also has a backup cluster grenade that explodes into smaller grenades. And this was amazing to throw into a small room with one simple toss, you'd essentially clear out that room. These specialists are a lot of fun. The game doesn't have a single player campaign, and I know a lot of people consider that to be a bit of a controversy, but they've said the next Call of Duty game probably will have that. They just decided in this not to have it, so the game does put a large focus on customization of your guns. That's something I love in a Call of Duty game. The better you are with a gun, the faster you will level it up and unlock better optics and attachments. This is where the addictive nature of these games comes into play for me. The perks make a return as well as wild cards that you can use that do such a, you know crazy things as give you an extra perk slot or you know give you extra boosts on whatever you really want in the game. There's so many of them. And again, it goes back into the idea that there's no single player campaign, so they have to fill the game out with something. Overall, talking off script, the experience I had with this game is not something that is going to be a revolution to you. You've, you've obviously played a Call of Duty game in the past. You've played multiplayer, but the offering of a zombie mode and the blackout mode that's going to come with this game that is the Battle Royale mode I don't know at this point in time if you rush out there and just pre-order this game. Well, it's a tough decision. It's going to come down to the people who really love Call of Duty versus the people that kind of are poking around and want to jump back in. I don't see this game really selling to a lot of people who have never played a Call of Duty game because there's so many out there. This is just going to come across as another version of Call of Duty. But as a seasoned player, you're going to see a lot of decisions that were pointed in your direction. I personally didn't really expect that much from the beta. I thought we're just, you know, here's another Call of Duty, let's get into it. But I, I surprisingly ended up having more fun than I expected because the game also has an emphasis on teamwork and a strategy that hasn't been in a Call of Duty game for quite some time. Because the specialists have different weapons and different abilities, as a team, you can use those to overcome your enemies. And that's something I'm so excited about to really experience in the full game. And of course, zombie mode is gonna be back here, so we, you know, what's gonna be in that that's gonna really change it up? So let me know in the comments below if you're excited about Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Will you be playing multiplayer? I'm gonna say this right now. I'll be playing it on the live stream I do on my show. 
and I'll be playing with you guys on that live stream. So I look forward to that, and let me know in the comments, did you guys have fun with the beta if you pre-ordered it? See you on the next episode of JKB.